let us consider a volume of a conductor cylindrical let cylindrical conductor the volume of the conductor equals to v enclosed by the surface then surface equals to s surface s if rho be the volume charge density let rho equals to volume charge density then total charge total charge equals to volume charge density that is per unit volume charge into the volume rho into v so you can take in in terms of indication that is dv okay again if current is flowing along this direction equals to i so we know that current density current density equals to j the current density j equals to current by area so in this case our area equals to s that is i by s so we can get i equals to j j into s this can be taken in terms of integration ds as current density as a vector because area is a vector so this can be written also as a j dot ds current is scalar but current density is a vector because i equals to scalar but dot plus should be also scalar j dot ds sorry j dot ds okay so i we get i j dot ds and again i equals to sorry i equals to q by s that is rho sorry q by t or d dq by dt or dq by dt so this gives d dt of you know q equals to rho dv So it gives to del rho, del t in between integration. Sorry, that be integration dv. So this is the rate of. So this i equals to j dot ds. Equals to the rate of decrease of the total charge. This is the rate of decrease of the total charge. So this is we have taken J dot ds equals to minus of del rho del t dv. So there should be also integration. So we can get from divergence theorem del dot j dv. Integration because j a dot ds from Gauss divergence theorem a dot ds equals to del dot a dv surface integral this is volume integral so volume integral equals to minus integral of del dot del t dv this gives del dot j plus del dot del t dv equals to zero so we get from the last line we get del dot j plus del dot del t dv equals to zero this implies del dot j plus del dot del t equals to zero this is our continue to vacation.